Well, how quickly the summer flies by tonight. Many are down the shore squeezing in one last hurrah. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is with the holdouts in Atlantic City tonight. Yes, yeah, still at this hour, plenty of people on the boardwalk. All of these folks really looking to extend their holiday as long as possible. A nice breeze, the setting sun. Oh, this is like my thing. This is my vibe. And plenty of people wishing summer wasn't slipping away. I'm not even the biggest beach person and I'm savoring every second. <laughs> <laughs> the Atlantic City boardwalk bustling this Labor Day. The beach busy. Even a traffic jam of sorts at the shower to wash off that pesky sand. Get a dip in the water? Oh no, I don't go near the water. I don't like the sand. We found Gilbert Hilton and many others enjoying the last unofficial day of summer strolling down the boardwalk. Every time I come up here on the boardwalk, I walk from one end to the next. Get out of breath, start again. Eight-year-old Kenny from Jersey, fresh off a of lucky streak. I got it from a water game, um, winning a prize. Plenty of folks visiting from our reach. Others like Veronica DeWild, here from Canada. When we left, it was 11 degrees Celsius, so it was kind of cold. Are you dreading going back to the cold? Uh, kind of. Everyone watching that ticking clock, signaling the end of summer and a return to reality. How are you feeling about tomorrow? No, I'm dreading it. Do you want to go back to school? No. No? You sure? I do not. <laughs> As for the weather tomorrow, it is going to be another nice day. So if you are able to get off of work, maybe even skip it, well, you could come back to Atlantic City. Reporting here on the Atlantic City Boardwalk, I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.